All right, we're going to look at some double angle identities, and these we'll have, you will have, or you should have discovered these in class, and they're easy to prove. You you have the ability to prove these, so so I'm just going to write proof done in class. These are double angle identities, so in other words, the sine of two times an angle has a nice little formula. Cosine of two times an angle has three which is interesting, and, and uh, even though there's three, they all kind of can be derived from each other, but it's often useful to, to know all three. Um, there's also these other identities, these half-angle identities. So the sine of an angle divided cut in half is given by this formula here. And so this I'm going to do this little proof for you here, right here for you to see, and then maybe you can try this one on your own, see if you can do it. So... How do we get this? Well, first thing to notice is that uh, we have an identity for the cosine of 2 times theta. So as a proof of this little formula. So the cosine of 2 times an angle is equal to uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared. If you look back on the previous page, this is true. And so that means that uh, so whatever I put, whatever I put here, it shows up double over here. And so the question is, and or another way to think of that is, whatever is doubled over here, you take half of what's in here, and that that ends up here in the formula. So what that means is, if I write down the cosine theta. So rather than put a, a 2 theta here, I'm going to put a theta. This whole formula can stay the same, except this has to be half of that. So I'm going to write down 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta over 2. So look carefully at that. All, all, I'm, do, all I'm doing is drawing your attention to a relationship. Right? In this formula, this whatever's in these parentheses has to be double what's over here. So if I put that in the parentheses, the formula still remains, but this would have to be half of half of that. But now I can just solve. I'm going to try to solve this for sine of theta over 2. So I'm going to subtract 1. I'll get cosine of theta minus 1 <coughs> equals negative 2 sine squared of theta over 2. And then I'm going to divide by negative 2 to get uh, cosine of theta minus 1 divided by negative 2 is equal to sine squared of theta over 2. And now what I'm going to do is a little trick. This is cosine of theta minus 1 over negative 2. I'm going to move this negative. I'm going to move the negative here. And then I'm just going to distribute it here. And when I do that, this becomes a negative cosine, and that becomes a plus 1. So I get a negative cosine plus 1, which I can write as 1 minus cosine theta. So now I have this, and now if I just square root, keeping in mind that I'll have to take the positive and negative version of the square root. The square root of sine squared of theta over 2 equals the sine of theta over 2. And this is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of theta over 2. All right, so there's the, der there's the der derivation of that formula. And it's, it's nice because half angle half angle formulas show up kind of here and there. But in any case, um, you know, you're welcome to try this one on your own, see if you can figure out how to do that one. Um, but these identities we're going to be using, we're going to be using these identities uh, in this, this section a lot. So it's important to be familiar with them and have them sort of uh, on the tip of your brain.